if if any of you could uh, just kindly inform my roommate's parents, who are functionally the owners of this house, that a sufficient supply of food is usually not constituted by just a bunch of individually wrapped microwavable burritos and a 36 pack of Diet Mountain Dew. If any of you could tell them that, that would be swell because they bought that food like two days ago and it's already over half gone and it was supposed to last for a while and it's because there's no substance to individually wrapped microwave burritos, especially the small ones. And Diet Mountain Dew? What's the point? If you're going to fill your body with a bunch of silliness that you find in soda, why not just get the regular variety? Just add some sugar to that caffeine and really truly ruin your day or something anyway. You might occasionally hear the roommate um, through my door. He's playing War Warframe with his pals right now. You might hear him make some noises every now and then. I don't know exactly how soundproof this room is, but apparently uh, it's not exceptionally soundproof. I have no specific plans today. What I probably should do, actually, is switch over to the other version. But I've already started recording, so who cares? Let's just do a, do a random run. I have... I have a... Uh, this is going to be difficult because Firemind... I mean, I love Toriel... But fire mind. Anyway, I have I have disabled the um the fan that's sitting on top of my computer. I just straight up turned it off to solve that that humming buzzing noise that I uh, that, that video that I made uh, I don't know yesterday something like that 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 whole thing the fan was as it turns out vibrating the table that my uh, microphone is sitting on and that was causing some audio funkiness. So I just I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. I'll just turn it off. So I just so I just turned it off and that unfortunately is going to make my computer hot. Very hot and not the good kind of hot. Not 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 the like Scarlett Johansson kind of hot, the actual yeah, the hot kind of hot. Scarlett Johansson is is like stereotypically attractive, isn't she? I haven't seen a picture of her in months. I don't even remember anymore. I just remember that's a name people throw around when they're talking about hot folks. There's her and like Chris something? Hemsworth? I don't... <laughs> the fucking poop. I don't really keep up to date with celebrity stuff. I don't even know most of the names of celebrities, except there there are a few that I at least actively pay attention to, and I know their names and what their faces look like. There's Robert Downey Jr., there's Jim Carrey, there was Robin Williams, but, uh, you know, he passed away, what, a year ago, two years ago? Long enough ago that sad, but people have gotten over it generally. And then I follow George Takei, something like that. Mr. Sulu, Star Trek fame. I, I like I like the opinions he has, and I like the fact that he just like calls out assholes on his post. I, I appreciate celebrities who actually put effort into like saying, "Oh, oh, you're an idiot, and you're you're, you're being an idiot in my neck of the internet. Don't you dare!" And then they just you know, go off or whatever. I like that. People who have power or people who have, who are in a position where they can influence a lot of folks, when they use that to actually call out the assholes, that's just, it's just great to see. So yeah, I'll, I'll actively follow celebrities that do that kind of thing, but in terms of hot people, I don't know. I don't really care that much. Mm, I don't know, I'm already kind of out of things to say. I just like, I was going to go to um, a Smash Brothers Melee singles tournament at the University of Washington today, but then I'm just like, you know, I could, but that's a bus ride, and that's a little over five dollars to get there and back, and bus fare, and it's raining, and I have to sit and wait for the bus, and I don't even play Melee that much, and I just kind of ultimately decided against it, but it might have been fun. I don't know. So, at the moment, I'm just like, oh, I feel like I should be doing something more interesting than this, but I need to make videos, so I'm gonna. And yeah, and stuff and things. So when I say that roommates' parents who went shopping at a Costco to get food in like wholesale prices in bulk and stuff, when I say that what they got is the opposite of substantial, I'm not kidding. I all I've been able to eat for the past two days is like a muffin, some orange juice, and nothing but these microwavable burritos because that's all the food that we have even though it's a lot. It's like, it's enough, it's enough that they couldn't justify getting any more. 
but it's just not enough actual food. So if if I come across as being completely scatterbrained today, that's why. I, I can't I, I can't really focus. I sat down to try and play some Smash 4 for Glory mode for a little bit just because I could, just to, like something that I, I, I do whenever I wanna like chill a little bit. I tried and oh my god, I can't I can't make decisions. I can't think. My brain has been filled with whatever that mush is that they put inside tortillas and then wrap in plastic. Anemic, yay, that's such a good item. It's, it's okay. It's okay. How did that one not explode? What's your deal? Eh, whatever. Why am I undyne? Why am I undyne? No, really, why am I undyne? I... what? I'm only undyne when facing three directions. Ah, uh, this is a bug. This is a visual bug. I need to I need to attempt to remember this to make a note and let the dev know, because that's not, that's not a thing that's supposed to be happening. What on earth? So, anemia triggered it? Hmm. Bizarre. Well, at least I'll have this video as some kind of quote-unquote evidence to show. So, like, uh, the dev can, I don't know, take a look at it and see if there's any strange things going on while I was playing. That's bizarre. Goodness gracious. Well, um, this was a Toriel run, but now we undone. And that's fine with me, I think. Totally. Absolutely. Completely fantastic. I am still getting used to the whole fire mine explosions. They feel bigger than they used to, and I don't know why. Like, maybe they're, maybe it's just a, a perceived thing, but they feel kind of like they're larger than, than in regular Afterbirth. Gimpy, huh? Mm, Gimpy's good. I'll take it. Lock in some flower deal precedent. Flower deal, that's just silly sounding. Unfortunately, because I don't have that fan going on my computer, I... What was that? My TV remote just fell off of my desk. Because I don't have the fan going on my computer anymore, I can hear the computer's internal CPU, the fan that's on the CPU, and it's like the most obnoxious fan whirring you can imagine because I think it's like slightly loose or something. Just a, just the, the smallest amount. Oh, and if for any reason, like just there, I, I pause in my talking when I shouldn't be. It's because it's, <clears throat> It's because I think those burritos are giving me a little bit of friggin' acidity problems or something. I mean, nauseous is what they are. But yeah, that CPU fan is really obnoxious sounding, and I don't like it. I would much rather have just pure white noise from the from just like a desk fan or whatever bump going on it. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make do. I don't wanna I don't want my channel to be unprofessional. It's just kind of hard to be professional in my current situation. And when I say professional, I'm basically just, just like, comparing myself to all the other big-name LPers out there, and I'm not... Ooh, I'll take it. I will actually definitely take this. It's dangerous, but there's a much lower probability that it's going to explode in my face. I think. Probably. Mm. Dick jokes. <laughs> I have not met any- I have not known anyone named Richard in a long time. Who's alive? Oh, it's you. There we go. I don't know, what was I saying? God, I can't- I can't even keep a steady train of thought right now. This is- this is just- this is problematic. You know, these fires are- this is basically just hot bombs. It's actually pretty good. I really feel like I should have been hit there. But I'll take it. Yeah, this is just hot bombs. What happens if I get hot bombs? Is it just more fires, or do the fires linger longer or something? I really need to remember that I have this thing. Blue, freaking. Is it called fire magic? Blue, blue candle, the equivalent of the blue candle. You know what? I can, I can like try and. fish these things out of here, these chests. Not worth. This is incredibly dangerous. Dangerous, but, you know, effective. Powerful, at least. Eh. You 
should just like hover over the fires. HP up is fine. I get to visit Flowey again. Oh, yeah, sure. Extra damage and some black hearts. I, I think I wanted that more for the black hearts than the damage. I don't really feel like any more damage right now. I mean, I don't know about you, but it seems kind of unnecessary. From my limited experience perspective. Might as well look for some secret rooms while I'm meandering about like this. I'm able to explodify everything. Trying not to mess up my shots and failing miserably, yes, of course. Probably over there. Up here. Hey, there it is. Endless Nameless. I'm stuck in a loop. I don't know what this does. I actually have no idea what this is. I just know that it's, I just know that it's a thing. Well, it can't be it can't be useless. I hope it doesn't I, I hope it doesn't have the potential to cause problems. That would be really bad. I think the 9 volt is useless right now. Okay. Since I, there's nothing I want to buy, I'm going to make sure I'm still donating. I know I just murdered Temmy, but like, she needs to go to college eventually, right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Otherwise known as I am terrible. No, the phrase is also known as. God, I can't think. Can't put words together. My my brain doesn't even feel like it's in the it's in the the typical let's play mindset that I put on when I want to record something. I just I just feel probably ill. I'm not actually sick. I don't think I am anyway, but I do not feel right. And let me tell you, those microwave burritos do not feel real. They don't taste real. They don't look real. They they they're they're slimy. They're actually physically slimy, and that's that's not something I ever want to ever want to ingest. But you know, I guess I should look at it as it's it's functionally free food for poor unemployed me. Not a good mindset to have. I don't I don't want to be a moocher, but I'm kind of stuck with it for now. I'm actually actually been consider actively considering um setting up a Patreon, but I am so bad, I am so incredibly terrible at maintaining commitments, I don't know if I could actually, like, keep up with, um, patron rewards and stuff. I don't even know what I would do. It's, it's frustrating. This is just a weird life that I live. And I'm trying my hardest, but that doesn't mean much. Generally, I can't go in there, what am I doing? <sighs> Oh my god. Oh, and now I'm really tired. Yes, of course. That's exactly how... Fire. Oh, you're not dead. But there was a fire. You walked into a fire. What do you think you're doing? I'm not supposed to survive that. I might open that chest if I don't have a better use for my key later. You know, if I just keep flinging these bombs out, eventually these enemies are just going to walk into fires. Seems a lot more effective, honestly, than actually trying to shoot them and time the explosions. Oh, but, you know, timing the explosions can work, too. Oh, that didn't connect. There we go. What you got? The onk. Alright. The Ankh is fine. In case I die, I'll respawn as Kara, I guess. I actually don't know if that would give me Mom's Knife or not, but if it does, that would be an incredibly huge damage buff. Not something I really actively want. I don't feel like I need more damage right now. I think I've probably got plenty. Probably. I just need some safety. Some insurance. Some security. Something like that effect. Would be beneficial, I believe. This, although I have to say, having Dark Fetus really does mitigate, mitigate the risk, the risks of the fire mine. Because the explosions are delayed now, they won't just explode in your face unless you're being silly, which I'm not beyond doing, but you know. 
damage and range. The range is not even remotely affected, but those red bombs should be more powerful. I don't even care. Let's just go. <laughs> this is a strong enough run, and I'm feeling so incredibly horribly out of it that I am content to just make this over with. Just, just be done. I would like to just be done. I really don't want to record, but there's nothing else I want to do right now. There are plenty of things I could be doing. I just don't feel up to it. God, I need to find a job. I need to be able to buy my own food, and I need to have my own fridge so I can actually store my stuff and ugh, not feel like I'm mooching constantly. Because that's entirely what I've been doing. It's how my life has turned, how my life has become. I can't, I can't even, oh my god, I can't put even those words together. I can't put even those words together. Uh, syntax. Dear Syntax, we hardly knew ye. I used to be an English, an English nerd. I was an English nerd, but I really, really hated the academic subject of English. And I still do, actually. I think it's, I think it's, it's got a lot of interesting promise as a subject, and I think it has for a while, but for, for years, but it's just taught in the worst ways. Really? When they, when they hit corners, they just bounce at an angle? That's really strange. I had no idea. Basically, though, y'all really don't want to hear my... You don't, you don't want to hear my opinions about the English subject. Especially because I don't think I could articulate them very well right now. Yes, I will definitely take Book of Revelations. What is this called? It is called Fire Magic. Alright, alright, good to know. So Book of Revelations is going to be uh, a lot of HP, a lot of survivability, a lot of insurance, which is exactly what I needed. Because this run is definitely not without its risks. It's something I can work with. Yeah, my computer is making the saddest sound. Just, ugh, it's gross. I like my computer not making these noises. One makes you larger. I am larger. I don't care. Oh, get wrecked and stuff. Holy crap, I'm tired. Oh, Jesus. Let's see if I can get that thing out of there. That's not what I wanted. Also not what I wanted. No. There we go. I knew it would work eventually, and that was a lot of money. It was technically worth. I would actually really like just... I mean, obviously I want some kind of explosion, some kind of immunity to explosions, but I would really, really like, like a super high fire rate right now. Immunity to explosions. That would make this run a little overpowered. Just, just give me soy milk and give me host hat. There you go. I don't even need pyromaniac. And I don't even need the lack of damage decreases, damage debuffs. So if I had those items, this run would be completely crazy. I really need to report this Undyne bug thing. This is bizarre. I may have to watch through the footage a bit. Not that I want to suffer through my inability to think, but I may have to watch through it just to see if I can nail down, like, pin down exactly when this occurred. Bugs. Ugh. God, all of my insides feel like shitty microwave burritos. This is not pleasant. This is not pleasant at all. I would never recommend this. Please don't attempt to live off of shitty microwave bur bur burritos. That is a pane of glass. What? I, I... I didn't mean to hit the donation machines. I need to know what this is. The ladder? Oh, it's the, um... Oh, it's that invisible bridge thing. I never actually did find out what that is. I should look that up. Hmm. Well, that's, that's, that's pretty neat, actually. Good to know that's a thing. There it is. Y'all really don't scare me as much as you used to. Either that or I'm just so out of it that nothing scares me right now. 
Well, hey, if I ever wanted bosses, or bo bo bosses, yes, if I ever wanted bosses, I think I'll just take the Hermit card. If I ever wanted bombs, that's what I meant to say. For the record, walk into the flames. I can make a very obvious um, Dragon Force joke. I, I really hope. You guys know what I'm referring to. But if you don't, I could spell it out for you if I could sing at all right now. Through the fire and the flames, we carry on, etc., etc. My brother, my brother years ago used to be really, really, like, huge into Guitar Hero. So I watched him, I watched him the first time he actually made it through, through, fire, through the fire and flames, and I think it was Guitar Hero 2. Granted, it was on medium difficulty, but he did it at all, and it was astounding to watch kind of technical prowess required to pull off to pull that off to be an expert at guitar hero or rhythm games in general it's yeah sure it's frightening is what it is frightening but not in a bad way just frightening in a oh my god people like this actually exist and it's amazing experts anyone who is exceptionally skilled at their craft whatever that may be they are magic to me i want spider mod I like Spider Mod. I think it's a fun item. I need another cent. Yo, poops, give me a penny. That's not a penny, poops. That's the those flies, poops. Those poops are stupid. Or at least they're not. They're uncooperative. There you go. That's the term that I wanted. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. That's actually a very noticeable difference. God, look at that flame. It's too bright. Ow. I can't I can't look at it anymore. Ugh. That was way too bright. Jesus. Note to self, don't do that. <laughs> That's only gonna ask for some visual problems. Okay, sweet. I like Spider-Man. I think it's a nice item. Not that it's good, but it's just so fun to watch the numbers. You know, the shears is good. But I have no comment for this. No comment. Other than um No, I just I have nothing to say about this. No, no that's all. I just I just picked up monstros along while having a uh, Dr. Fetus and Fire Mine. No problems. No problems at all. Yeah, there's there's nothing funky going on here, officer. No need to no need to linger, no need to question people. It's just a typical Isaac run. Typical the binding of Undertale run. In which I totally don't have a really, really silly I want soy milk so badly right now. Oh my god, I need soy milk now. It is actually a necessity. I have to have it. Or at least some huge tier delay reductions. I need this. I need this more than you can possibly imagine. Each of these bombs is doing 53 damage. That's... that's amazing. Frickin... You and your frickin existing. There we go. Oh, good thing I can heal myself. I'll just take this now. There's no reason to let it hang out. So this is an interesting situation. In case you hadn't already noticed. Is it a good situation? No comment. But is it silly? Yes. I really... Ugh. You know what's, imme what's immensely frustrating for me? I get into these situations in these runs where I'm just like, I can't think, I can't put sentences together. All of me feels like a pile of crap, or worse. But it's almost always when I'm feeling like that that I get the coolest runs. It's so disappointing. I see the neat stuff when I'm incapable of being enthusiastic about it. That's just, that's just sad. That is just straight up disappointing. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, everybody. Don't worry, one of these days I will actually have a means of eating regularly. 
actual, like, viable, nutritious food. My roommate's dad is a doctor. He's an anesthesiologist. He's been through med school. He knows what food is and is not nutritious, and somehow they ended up with a case of shitty, individually wrapped microwave burritos and a goddamn 36 pack of giant fucking Mountain Dew. I. I, I respect Carson's parents immensely, I really do, but there are some things that are, in my book, just a little inexcusable. Uh, hmm. I actually kind of want to take one of these just to make things, just to simplify things. Let's go with black powder. I see this item so rarely, might as well. Cool. So black powder, in case you didn't know, because it's an item that rarely that people rarely take. You track, you track gunpowder. You make a circle. You attempt to make a circle. There you go. Enemies in that radius right there take some amount of damage. It's like 10 damage per tick or something like that. I don't know what the what the, the tick speed is, if you want to call it that. But it's it's pretty decent damage. And it, obviously, if you're faster, you can get larger circles, which is very useful. You know what? I have I have both revelations. I feel okay doing this. What do you think you're doing being alive? What do you think you're doing being alive when there's fire everywhere, bub? I imagine you're crossing out there getting very excited about something in Warframe, probably. He's been playing that almost non-stop as of late. It's kind of frightening. I mean, like, Warframe is a cool game. I just... It's it for me. It's neat in concept, but not in execution. I I find it, I find it so boring. Not because it's bad, not because the gameplay is garbage, but I find it boring because you have to wait so long to do anything interesting. There's just like the amount of time investment, the, the, the time investment relative to actual like payout of rewards is just so fucking slow, pardon my language, but it is. I mean, I've put 28, 29 hours into, into Warframe, and I've only gotten two new weapons and one new actual Warframe since I started playing. Thir approximately 30 hours for such a tiny, such a tiny reward? Why? Why would you bother? The missions are all exactly the same over and over again. There's, there's no, there's so little variation. There's nothing that's fun about it. And, like, I know the same can be said for, say, Smash Brothers, which I generally play religiously, but the, the difference there, the very fundamental difference that a lot of people kind of sort of at least critiques of my, my view here, and I'm talking mostly about Carson himself, by the way, what what he's told me is that, well, Smash Brothers is the same thing, it's, it's the repetitive thing, you, you don't really get that much for your time because you unlock everything so quickly, there's just no value in putting extra time into things. And like, that's a fair criticism, but I play competitive Smash. Every match is different because I'm not playing the characters or the stages of the game, I'm playing against my opponent, who is a human, who is infinitely deeper and more complex and more interesting. My interactions with them are going to be far more varied than with the same the same stupid AI enemies in Warframe over and over again. You see what I'm you see what I'm getting at here? And yes, I know Warframe does have PvP. I've not had access to it because again, you have to wait a really long time to get access to PvP. And even then, you have to wait a long time to get things that actually would let you succeed at PvP. Like better weapons or better Warframes. You have to wait to get the materials, you have to wait to build the stuff, it's just, no, it's not worth my time, but Carson's been bugging me a lot lately about it, and I did play it with him yesterday for a few hours. I have to say my perspective hasn't changed, even though I hadn't played it in like six or seven months, actually even more than that, come to think of it, prior to yesterday. Just, uh, personal opinions though, keep in mind. I know a lot of people really love Warframe, and I know why they do. My brother is like a fanatic. He's very fond of Warframe. He loves it. Quite a bit. He's the only reason I bothered playing in the first place. And to be honest, when, when he first asked me to play, I'm just like, yeah, this looks pretty cool. I like the concept of like, like, alien space ninja things. That sounds like fun. 
and then I actually played it, and I'm just like, oh, this is this is pretty cool, and then and then I didn't get to see anything new at all for a long time. And then when I did get to see something new, it felt so unsatisfying and unrewarding. It's just like, why do I put time into this? Ugh. Ugh. You could easily say that this perspective is just kind of based in like having no, no sense of patience. And you'd be right to a certain extent. I'm kind of an impatient person, but just because I'm an impatient person does does not mean that well, I don't know. Really? Freaking creep. I'm I'm patient about things that typically don't matter when it comes to arguing about being patient or not. I'm patient when it comes to people, but only some people. <laughs> just as an example. There, there are some folks I've known that I just, I cannot, just can't, just can't, I can't interact with them because it, it turns into some kind of, some kind of like moral bloodbath instantly, which doesn't work. But, for the most part, I'm patient with people. I'm patient with video games that actually hold my interest and make it feel like the time I'm investing is worth, like Fallout. I adore Fallout New Vegas put like 80 hours of it. I put 80 hours into that game in less than a week. If that tells you anything about how much I love New Vegas. And, but New Vegas is slow, right? It's it's a slow game. It takes a long time to, to see any of the action, to, to do anything, to get stuff. But it really felt like I was building up to something worthwhile. And I, it's difficult to explain the difference in my perspective between Fallout New Vegas and um, Warframe. But, I don't know. Warframe just did something for me that- or, I'm sorry, New Vegas just did something for me that Warframe hasn't and probably never will. Now, how different is my charge rate without canceling? Well, it's exactly half. Callus would be really nice though, but I'll, I'll keep a cancer trinket. Are these pills- were either of these balls of steel? Yeah, full health. That's something, I guess. Technically. That is, that is, that is by definition, something. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you for the half-red hearts, Gimpy. I appreciate it. I actually really don't. Like, I appreciate the gesture. But you might want to rethink what is actually helping right now. There's a balls of steel pills. I'm hoping for that. Very lucky, but... Just because it's lucky doesn't mean it's not legit. Same reason that landing some sweet combo into a 9 in Smash games is game watch. Yeah, it's luck based, but when it happens, it's legit. A good read, good combo, good execution on stuff. Good stuff. Just, just good stuff. Okay. So this has been ultimately an incredibly chill episode so far, and I, I really like that. Not that I want it to be chill, because it's it's chill because I can't put thoughts together effectively, put thoughts and words in sentence form very well. But I don't know. I would rather my videos be at least somewhat energetic or, you know, at the very least enthusiastic. I would prefer to have that and then like do live streams that are really chill. That that would be nice. A chill live stream just sounds so much more fun than a chill YouTube video. Cause it's like it's like I'd be chilling with my viewers, not just chilling with myself, which is basically what I'm doing right now. Yep, it's ten damage per tick. Good to know. This is not gonna take long with this with this build. There you go. I called it. Does that make me guppy? I don't think it does. No, I've only gotten one guppy item so far. Mm, I don't think it's worth. I'm not gonna bother. So, do I want to go to the dark room or do I want to go beat Isaac again? You know, I'm not sure. Let's go to the dark room. I think I went to the. I think I. I think I. Or, 
Not the dark room, the end of the world. I think... What did I do last time? Last time I went to... I went to the core. Which is the cathedral. Just so you know. In case you weren't aware. Which you should be by now, but I don't know. I've not... I've not been there enough to make that really exceptionally well known. At least in this series. So, you know, whatever. I could just go like every other episode, switch it off. Might be, might be worth. You know, for having this incredible setup, my damage really isn't that good. <laughs> it's good, but I'm not one-shotting bosses, which means it's not good enough. I'll do it. It was probably not worth, but whatever. These fires are going to make these bosses real easy. Did I mention real easy? Because, like, god damn, this is a good setup. This is seriously a super good run. I'm just having difficulty expressing that because I'm a piece of crap. By I'm a piece of crap, I mean the food I've been eating is a piece of crap. Yes, all the food was a single piece of crap. Those burritos, good god, those are just the worst. Like, the brand that they bought is one that normally I actually really like. Um, if you're familiar with Monterey, it's a brand. You can find it a lot at, like, Grocery Outlet, but that brand of microwavable burrito is pretty much everywhere, at least from what I've seen. And I, I really like their microwave burritos. They're easy to make, and they taste really good. But for some reason, these particular ones are individually wrapped, and as such, they're like, they're like, um, like convenience store burritos. They're like gas station burritos. What I mean by that is they are freaking terrible. Just, just straight up real bad. They taste awful. They feel worse. Some of them don't even have anything in the tortilla beyond like a few scraps of quote unquote beans. It's not good. It's not good, but like, whatever. It's edible, technically. And that's good, good enough, right? Right? I mean, I'm sure I've said it probably plenty of times, but y'all know I really don't like eating that much. Not a fan. But even if I don't like eating, that doesn't mean that I don't want to... It doesn't mean that, like, I'm gonna be content eating food that is trash. I'm, I'm not. I'm not content eating food that's as bad as these things are. There's, there's no substance. They feel really gross to me. I don't know. My criticisms keep going on. Ugh. <sighs> Freaking 36 pack of goddamn Diet Mountain Dew. Just a terrible idea right there. Just a terrible, terrible idea. I don't even like Mountain Dew, but Diet Mountain Dew? Good mess. Give me a break. Wait, it's freezing? Oh, the uh, spider mod must have frozen. Sorry, Azrael. Didn't mean to, didn't really mean to do that, but. My little robotic bug, buddy. Actually, it's, it's not actually a bug, it's an arachnid. <laughs> Gotta make sure you specify. So let's go to the end of the world and fight the, the hyper mega do death god thing of I don't even remember. I always forget what that what, what his exact title is during that sequence, because like just there's just so much going on. Sure, pretty flies, that's actually pretty useful. Pretty flies, pretty useful, eh? Yeah, of course. I am a professional words -alizer. Words, 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 -izer, words, -er. I'm not sure. Oh, this is a, this is a gross room. This is a gross room, but I'm powerful, so I'm not really too worried. Yeah, I'm not really that much of a reason to be. Was that a secret room I just heard? I think it was. That's neat. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, no, you're not. You jumped on some fire. I mean, like, I may not be an expert or a professional, but I, I'm i pretty sure that I can safely highly recommend against jumping onto a flame. That just sounds like a bad time right there. It really does, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, I don't know. I guess you do you, etc. Even if what you're doing is dumb. Whoa, friends, please. I'm not immune to explosions, unlike what my dreams suggested. Rather, my dreams desired, etc. So, the impact of these bombs, I think, is actually doing some damage? 
Is it because... Oh, you know what? I bet it's because I have fire mind. The bombs are on fire. So they're actually inflicting... Oh, that's pretty cool. The bombs are inflicting fire damage because they are flaming. Huh. Wow. It's just one of those little things you really wouldn't think about. I honestly would probably not have noticed that at all if I didn't have spider mod. So see, spider mod does some neat things. It, it teaches you stuff. It gives you the tools to actually see what's going on dissect your situations and what, what you're doing etc and your actions and then you can learn from it it's always something to learn in a game like this that's you know randomly generated i can one shot gertie juniors and that is pretty sweet i'd like some more items though i mean i i know i know i could have i could have taken guppy's tail i could have done that I think it would have been a bad idea because then I would then I would be at only six soul hearts right now, and that doesn't sound like fun. God of Hyper Death. Oh my God of Hyper Wrecked! It's not actually wrecked yet. Yeah, I hear hopes and dreams playing in the background. You? It's a very good song. Would recommend. You keep your funny looking floating head away from me, please. And there we go. Everything went dark. But we won, right? We we killed Azrael. That's how a pacifist run goes, right? The black lipstick has appeared in the basement. Oh boy, I believe that's a trinket. It's one that I almost never take. Ew, because I don't know what it does. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody on the last, uh, the last video. The last episode who commented and let me know that they're willing to watch advertisements and stuff like it's it's something that you probably wouldn't actively think about but as a viewer anyway but it's also something that is probably not adequately discussed by creators come to think of it not in a setting that would be well received i guess and eh, whatever thanks for watching if you like the video click like you could you could click subscribe to watch some more you could um you could share the videos with a friend who'd be interested. I don't know. Or, you know, you could... I don't know. You could, you could eat some burritos that aren't garbage. Here's what you should do. Here's what all y'all should do. You should go to your nearest taco time and get a fried pinto bean burrito. And in my honor, eat that. And then you should throw away all of the, sh the, sh the shitty freaking goddamn gas station microwavable pieces of shit that we have for food in this house. I need to find a job. If anybody is in the Seattle area and knows who's hiring, please tell me. Or no, uh, whatever. See y'all next time. I'm always out And stuff. Oh my god. Fucking burritos.